If you are looking to start your next life insurance policy, then make sure you watch this video through the very end because we hope to give you valuable nuggets so that you know what to do before you get your policy. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And it's not just your next insurance policy. It may be your first insurance policy. Wherever you are on your life insurance journey, journey mm -hmm. then this is something that a, a, a lot of you want to know is which insurance company is the best company to get my insurance policy with. Mm -hmm. Now, we have insurance policies with about four. Four, yeah. <laughs> about four, four different companies. And we are aware of, uh, of companies, other life insurance companies that we, we don't even have policies with. Now, when it comes to the specific companies that we use, a lot of times people say, oh, I want to go with the, a big company because there's a good chance that uh, they won't get bought out or something. Now, we were with a company that uh, decided to not be a mutual insurance company anymore and they transitioned. And the nice thing about that or that experience is the fact that our contract is still valid. Our contract that we have still provides the same amount of uh, dividend, the same amount of benefit. It, it's the exact same thing because our contracts with insurance companies are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what happens to that insurance company, if something happens to you, they're still going to provide you with that same amount of death benefit. If you want to go and borrow money uh, from the insurance company, it still provides you with the same access to your funds because that's what was guaranteed to you in your contract. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about that a little bit more in the video, but I think the biggest thing that we want to cover today is just who do I choose? People ask us that all the time. And I think the, the thing to think about is you always want to work with a reputable life insurance company. So I understand the anxiety behind that. But you also shouldn't be um, persuaded to work with an insurance company just because they're the, the top four, they're the top three or whatever the case may be, because there's a lot of insurance companies that are maybe in the top 10 or 15 that provide amazing benefits and amazing perks for you specifically. And don't look at this as like a cookie cutter approach, you know, just because everybody has, you know, Mass or Guardian or, or, or Security Mutual or American United Life, you know, these are companies that we are familiar with. Um, you have to determine what makes sense for you because what may happen is you may be working with a life insurance agent that understands this banking process that we talk about but they're with a company that maybe isn't in the, in the top four mm -hmm. so you have to figure out what is the value to you and the value to you should probably be to be with that agent who understands the process and can walk you through it as opposed to working with a uh, a large life insurance company just because they're a large life insurance company but then working with an agent who doesn't understand the process right did that make sense? That makes sense. The second point, if if I may move on to the second second point, is let's say you want to work with the, one of the big four companies and they don't insure you because you have some type of health issue. Now, you're not just because that insurance company doesn't want to work with you. You can go to a different insurance company and you may be able to get a insurance company assurance policy or even a better rating with a different company. Yeah. So now because of your health situation, you may not be able to get with the insurance company that you want, but you still are able to get life insurance and you're still able to use your life insurance uh, cash value, mm -hmm. cash value, whole life insurance policy. Yeah. And sometimes you have to ask yourself that question, especially if you're in that predicament. Um, and when we talk about health, uh, we'll throw age in there as well. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of times people reach out to us and say, hey, Carmen and Darius, I'm in my 50s. I'm in my 60s. I'm in my 70s. Does it make sense for me to get life insurance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should always have life insurance regardless of whatever age you are and regardless the the play that you're trying to use. And when I say the play, if you're trying to do the banking concept that we talk about, or if you just want to make sure that you have coverage for your family, either way, you should have life insurance. And uh, a lot of times what um, our seniors <laughs> that are, are thinking about is because it's more expensive for me to get life insurance. Yeah, it's going to be more expensive for you. But if you have the ability to maybe insure your children, your grandchildren, then we can look into that. So maybe the cost of insurance isn't so much, but at the end of the day, there's still insurance inside the family. Yeah. So we always recommend that. And then especially when it comes to your health as well, if you aren't insurable, maybe you have um, cancer, maybe you have, you know, some sort of uh, terminal illness or even just something that has to be managed consistently. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't not make sense for you to get life insurance. You can always insure another loved one to ensure that again, there is some sort of insurance or income that can be provided should something happen to you. It's just all about covering your bases. 
Yeah, personal experiences. Uh, uh, my mother in law, Carmen's mom, she is in her seventies, and when we get went to do a policy for her, the first insurance company we went with said no, thank you. Uh, not only because of her age, because she had an open heart surgery um, years ago. Yeah. Now, be- because of this, one insurance company said no, but when we took that same insurance, uh, took the same insurer over to a different company and we explained to them the situation man they are allowed us not only to have a insurance policy on her but she actually had a good table rating also mm-hmm. so, table rating meaning that they rated her uh as a standard rating yeah meaning that she she still was able to get all the benefits when we talk about ratings they're you're either like super preferred preferred it depends on the insurance company their terms and terminologies but it's basically on your health it's mm-hmm. a scale of how how healthy you are and that's going to determine your death benefit your cash value and the cost of insurance Mm -hmm. Now, when it when we talk about health, we talk about age. The biggest opportunity you have is when you're young to buy insurance because it opens up doors for you, not only for you to get um, insurance that's less expensive, but you can go with any insurance company that you want. Mm -hmm. You can go with one of the the big companies. Mm. Now, one of the benefits of going with a big company is you don't I guess you don't have to worry about um, that company deciding to change their mind and say, hey, I want to be a something else i don't want to be a mutual insurance company anymore because there's more profit someplace else you never know i I still say regardless if they're big or small it's so here's where we're we're talking about the specific insurance company that we were working with i have a personal policy with and they were a mutual company like darius said and then they changed to a stock company Mm -hmm. meaning me as a mutual policy holder no longer get the perks and benefits uh that uh were once uh provided because now it's a stock company so so that was a big shift for for me personally and also for our clients because we were working with this company for our, our clients as well and this is a large insurance company You know, we're not talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, this is a a large insurance company. And so for us, it was a wake up call to go, okay, at the end of the day, nothing's guaranteed, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know? So it comes back to the point of understanding your contracts, understanding what's available to you. Like we said, nothing really has changed as far as my policy is concerned. I can still get the cash value and access it the same way I could. Um, But the idea is knowing at least I understand the product. I know exactly what's going on. I know the expectations. And that way, if something were to change with the life insurance, insurance company, it doesn't really, um, it's not a huge undertaking for me to, you know, make a switch. I can move mm-hmm. my policy if I decide. I can keep it, whatever the case may be. Just know what it is that you're getting into. And if you are looking, if you do have to scrutinize, you know, you're one of those engineer types where you have to go through <laughs> all, every little detail, um, you can look at ambest, uh, I believe it's .com. We'll, we'll put the link here. That's where they rank all the insurance companies. You can see if it has a A rating versus an A plus or an A plus plus rating. And again, it doesn't matter uh, how many pluses they have. You know, this isn't a measuring contest. Just know that it's a reputable company. And at the end of the day, they can provide you with the, the benefits that you need. Yeah. What you want to make sure you identify is have they been paying a dividend for the past 100 years? That's a, a, a really good solid, um, company. solid company and it's something that you don't really have to do too much research in to know, OK, that'll that'll um, weed out some of some of the other uh companies that are out there now another thing is your geographic location if you're in the state of new york there's a lot of uh tape that you have to go through so there's certain companies that don't work with people from new york because of how hard it is to uh do business in new york because there's a lot of regulation um also if you're in the state of california california has some some different rules also where um certain you you have to offer certain things that companies don't offer in other other states so if you're a resident of new york if you're a resident of california that kind of narrows things down for you also um because certain companies don't do business in new york because it's it's complicated Mm -hmm. yeah so it's just it's one of those things you have to go with what you're offered but at the same time you do have to look at you know what your options are so if you want any help with that again we are here to support definitely click on the link below a member of our team would love to help you and guide you into the right process and product for Mm -hmm. you that makes sense for not only you but your family and your goals right if you want to know if this is something for you not just uh, life insurance, but this infinite banking concept, then make sure you take our quiz below to see if it's something for you in the first place. And remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will.